Welcome back to another Tech Dev Repair video. Today's episode, we're going to be working on this HP Elman gaming laptop. Uh, this is a model 16-K00 33DX for some replacement fans. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're going to start off with a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the eight fourth bottom four at the top Phillips head screws uh, that secure the bottom case to the unit. See you now. And after we get it clicked off all the way around, we can pull it off, disconnect the battery, remove the heatsink screws and the fan screws. Now we're going to remove the screws that hold the fans uh, into the case and also the heatsink. And there is a screw up here on the top left for a seat pipe, well as one on the top right. This is more for the heat fins, not the pipes, but we'll go ahead and remove those in this step. And now our heatsink is ready to pull out up like that to remove the heat sink. So now we can unplug our fans and set these aside when we pull them out. And we can go ahead and clean this area up and prepare it for new thermal paste, our new fan. We've got our new fans that again, you can find at techdep.com. If you guys are looking for any parts or tools uh, you see in today's video or for any other unit. And if you guys are interested in having us do your repair, we offer mail-in repair. We also offer mail-in data recovery service for anything at Okay, so that's how that one goes. And this one goes here. Plug these in now. Put thermal paste back on our CPU and GPU. Place this guy back down. Secure the screws that hold the fans in as well as the heat sink to the fan. So that's all set. We're going to go ahead and plug in our battery again. Just going to make sure the battery connector is really seated, fully seated in there. Okay, so before we put the bottom panel on, we're going to go ahead, grab the charger, plug it in, and make sure our fans spin and everything's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the laptop in and open it up so the unit's on and the fans are spinning. So the GPU fan here, uh, this one will not spin unless the GPU hits a certain temperature. So we will go ahead and run a stress test later on to make sure this fan is operating correctly. Uh, but this one is good to go. 